previously on Evil Touch. What did you do to him? This looks like a burn. This looks like he's been branded. I think you know it is not. Հակայինս կարծում եմ, որ կարելի էր այս ամենիս խուսապել, եթե հարկ է չլիներ սանասարի կտրուկ որոշում ներ կայացնելու թուլություն է։ Մենք ուրի շարվակելություն ունենք։ Ասկացար, ես կեզ հարց տվեցի։ Ասկացար, ասկացար What are you doing, man? Are you trying to get yourself killed? Houston, this is crazy. This is crazy? This whole place is crazy. Hey, wait. Listen, I just want you to take a breath and come inside. Yeah. Come on, man. Let's just go back inside. We know this place is really messed up, and Rick can be a dick sometimes. I wanted to, to kill him. I, oh. Yeah. We understand that. We get it, man. This is a really bad situation. Okay, so you were all outside the canteen, right? Right. And Houston was what? Antagonizing the guard? Yeah, it was like... I don't know, he was like wanting to provoke a fight or something. It kind of reminded me of when someone is trying to intentionally be shot by a cop. You know, like suicide by cop. I don't know, it scared the crap out of me. No, I just... I don't care about anything. Oh, Talk inside. It's not safe for you out here. Then of course Houston bolted and the guard obviously chased after him. If you keep referring to this thing as a demon. Yes. Charwoki. Evil spirit. Like a supernatural entity. Yes, you're right. You understand? No, actually, I don't. I like to think that science can explain this phenomenon. You don't really think that I would believe in uh, a devil or boogeyman or something ridiculous? Professor, you studied much. What do you think? The world is only that what you can see, touch, or measure? Believe me, there is more. And some of it is very, very bad. This will bring your friends back here. And no one must run for village. So we have to go back inside, and tension is just so high right now. So what, we just want to sit here and wait for the demon thing to come back? Or just wait till we all kill each other or something? And then we'll find the possessed and get it under control. It is what they do. This is not good. I mean, how do you even live like this anyway? Vicky! It what? is not always like this. And this duty we have here is a calling to answer, and it is Honor to be protectors. Make sure Karok Tultal Spasal, you have Karok Tultal, what Sharna Kitari on an aligning in Shimakatar woman. In Chesarachar. Next, if I think Kost for a Sunner Kayatsnel, Ubart Gorzovutsner, Idakanatsnel, and Lajest Gorzovutsner. 
հիմա երբ չար ոգին ազատության մեջ է։ Ոչ իհարկ է, նախ մենք մետք է ապահովենք գյուղի անվտանգությունը։ Հետո պետք է վնաս ազերծենք չարին, որպես իմ նաչ կարող անամ ես խոչում դ Հոզև, իսկ մեր երդումը։ Հանուն մեր երդմար է, որ մենք պետք է գործենք խիստ և ժրական որ են։ Հուսավ եմ դու դալավ ես ասկանում։ Հասկանում։ Իսկ իմա պետք է գտնել դևին ու վնասազերծան։ Listen, whatever's going on here, I think it'd be best if we just got out of here. There's got to be someone you can call. Call? You mean the police? Yeah. The devil police. I understand. You did not ask to be here. But here you are. And here you will stay until we win. I simply ask you, stand with us. If we're not part of the solution, we're part of the problem? Yes, you're right. You okay, dude? Do I look okay? Hey. Um, I just wanted to say that was really impressive what you did out there. Mm -hmm. Oh, you have cut. What? Oh. <laughs> Here. And Rick is basically burnt out. I've never seen him so useless. And it's not just Rick at this point. Kevin's acting weird too. Kevin? Kevin? What's wrong? Lainey, what's happening? Kevin, is something wrong? Oh yeah, he doesn't look too good. I think something's really wrong. He needs a doctor. At first, I thought it was because we were all on edge, but there was something really wrong with him. I mean, sometimes Kevin can be unresponsive because he can't hear, but I'm telling you, this was different. Kevin, what's wrong? Tell me anything. It's like the lights were on, but no one was home. If Lainey couldn't get through to him, then there was really something up. So you said that you needed to get to the canteen. Why? What did you think was going to happen? Yeah, I ran into the professor in St. Azar. Listen, I will do everything in my power to help you, but you have to help me too. Shh. Oh, Karen! Oh my god. What? Qu quick, we have to get to the canteen. Something terrible is about to happen. How do you know? She knows. Come. He's trying to sign. What's he saying? I don't know. He's just saying it's Karen. Well, what does that mean? Kevin, what about Karen? Oh my God. What's happening to this guy? Get away! Out now! And then he started shaking, and blood was coming out of like everywhere. It was like he was battling with the demon inside, but he couldn't beat it.
wait, wait, wait. What about Kevin and Lainey? We can't just leave them. Cherokee will kill them. And no of us will go back in. So you people, get back to your quarters and lock yourselves in. What go. about you? Go. Come on. Let's go. Let's go, Rick. floating behind her head. Whose head? It was Lainey. Oh God! Stop! Stop! Not again. It's from Gardeen. Try to keep. Come on, Rick. Come Ricky. On. Take Rick back. And in the middle of all this, Cameron decides to be a hero. I'll be back in two minutes. What are you doing? So why'd you go back? She came back for me, so I went back for her. Oh, come on, Rick. Come on, just move. just like I saw in my vision. Lainey, what the hell? Go back! Go back to the table! Go! Save her! Seconds earlier, she stood up with a stake sticking through her gut like it was nothing. And right after she grabbed this guard's neck, she fell down and died. So, 
So this girl has a broomstick through her torso and is able to get up without any visible signs of pain. Walks over, grabs a guard by the neck, and then just falls over dead. That's what happened. We all saw it. So did you see any of this stuff with Lainey? No, I was out back with Melly. But we heard a lot of stuff. Like what? Um, like screaming and just like weird noises. I said go back to the guest house. I couldn't just leave you by yourself. Well, make yourself useful. And help me keep this door shut. <laughs> Kevin. Shh. Malik, we need to get him to a hospital. It's too late for that. He's gone. But we can't just leave. Shh. Char, okay, has broken him. Come. So what did she mean by that? The uh, <clears throat> Char Voki has broken him. Uh, she meant that there was nothing that we could do to save him. Okay, let, let me get this straight. So. You had told us that Rick had this thing in him, right? That he was okay, no, he, sort he, of. He wasn't okay. Right, but he was up walking and talking, right? What was the deal with Kevin? Look, I, I don't know. Melek just said it was because he tried to battle the demon. But in the end, he didn't win, and the demon just... demon destroyed him. Okay. Keep going. Then what happened? Um... Well, we found, uh... We found Houston on the ground dead. Houston! No. Get sick. Look, love got all the things you've got. Carol has done a little bit of a man's makure. As we're seeing, we can't just jump on that. Come, it's an idea that's sooner to give me some. Men cost a little bit of a lot of money, Mark Kant. Men can only do a very little bit. How about that? I'm not saying very much, man. But you're a shark, a shark. It's him. A direct relation with God's arena. Եվ մենք դարունանք մեր գործերին։ Ինչքան շուտ մենք անցնենք մեր առորյային ենք անլավ։ Մենք պետք է շատ առակ սկսենք նորակոչիկների կրտությունը։ Իսկ հիմա ես լկում եմ ձեզ։ Մենք անկասկած կորձրեցի Երբ հեվ է ազատագրված չարին, այսքան մոտիկից տեսել եք։ Ողկալի է չէ։ Ինչպես հասկացակ, այս խուցը չի կարող ապահով տեղ համարվել չարվոքում պահելու համար։ Ես եմ կարող այն ապահով համարել Հանկասկած ամերիկացի ուսանողների մեղքա այս տեղկամ ենքի սկզբան են էր անձչ պետք է թողնեինք դարպասներից ներզգան, բայց այդ հարցերով ավելի ուշ կզբաղվենք։ Անդրանիկ, հիմա դեվին տանում ես դեպի դար� Մեր ծրագրերին, հիմա գտնում ես դեմ իրին, 
ու չէ զոգացնում ես նրան։ Իսկ սանասարին ինչ պիտի անենք է։ Սանասարով ես կզբաղվեմ։ Ասկացա։ Կանը, կանը։ So at this point, we have what? Three students dead? We have Sarah. She fell off a wall and cracked her head open. Lainey, a stake through her abdomen. Same with Houston. What about Kevin? Kevin was still alive at this point as you and Malak are leaving. Was Kevin still alive when you left? Uh. I mean, well, yeah, he, yeah, he, he technically was still alive when we left, but look, we had to get out of there. We were in danger. You see, everyone was in danger. Don't you see? Okay. Hey, we are not accusing you of anything. We are just trying to establish what happened. Look, I know how crazy this sounds. Okay, but think about how we felt. Come on, Rick. Careful, careful. Rick, stand up straight. Careful, careful. Oh. Rick, where's Cameron? Just get inside, quick. Right, come on, come on, Go come inside, on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Rick. I finally managed to get Rick back to the stable. I was so happy to see Karen and Professor Miller. Guys, what did we just see out there? I just can't even begin to describe the horror we saw in that room. We saw Lainey just... Poor Kevin. Just... He must have had that thing inside of him and then he passed it on to Lainey. I saw the whole thing. Wait, what? What? Where's, where's Cameron, guys? Well, we all headed here and then he decided he was going to go back and help that bartender girl, I guess. Professor, what are we going to do? We need to get out of here. Well, how? I need to get my laptop. In it, there's a book that has instructions on how to hack a cell phone into a VHF radio transmitter. Maybe we can radio for help. Watch out for him, I'll be right back. Up with Rick? Uh, yeah, I, I'm sorry. I thought everyone slept with Rick. I didn't. <laughs> oh, come on, are you jealous? No. Why would I? Why would I care? I'm just. I'm just glad you had a good time. <laughs> if you could call it that. It was just one night in Tbilisi. We had a few drinks, and then one thing led to another. Yeah, that's what everybody says. Whatever, it's it's none of my business. Jesus, I cannot wait to get the hell out of here. So where did you go with Malik? Um, she let us through the village, and we were just trying to avoid any of the guards because we didn't know which ones were good or bad. Where are we going? We need to get help. Come. 
This way. Um, I know some of them were locking up the possessed guard in the shop that they used to make their weapons. So what is this place? It is where our young people come to be new protectors, like students. Oh, so kind of like boot camp. Yeah. So this Demir, she's the same lady that brought us to the stable? Yes. Yeah, OK. And she's in here? She's in charge of this training. Uh, she oversees all training. <laughs> I wouldn't have thought that by looking at her. But she's stronger than she looks. You know, she kind of reminds me of a mother figure. Well, in fact, she's like mother to me, you know? What do, what, do, what do you mean? She raised me from when I was a little child. I was only seven years old when the soldiers came, trying to release the demon. And more people know about this demon? Oh, yes. We're not the only ones in the world to know about it. There are not many do, but some think that they can use it like a weapon, as a kind of weapon. But they don't understand what it is, what it does. Oh, anyway, but my parents, they were killed keeping the men from it, guarding it. I'm sorry. That's, mm. that's awful. Sorry. Oh, you're fine. Yes, but get us name Finally, we made it to the other side of the village to find Amir. We got there just as the new recruits were doing like this swearing in ceremony. Yertumtalupaha. <laughs> Okay, guys, I found the instructions for the phone hack. But first, let's see if any of us have signal. Okay. Oh, I have no bars. Rick, what you got? All right, never mind. We'll use mine. So listen, this hack alters the FM transmitter on this phone. Then you really think that's going to work? Well, does anyone have a better idea? Exactly. I need something sharp. Okay. Um. Hey, wait. Someone's coming. Guys, put your phones away. Put your phones away. Oh. 
Professor Miller. It was Sanasar. It's over. What? What did he mean by that? We didn't know at first. I thought it meant we had been caught and we were all going to be killed. Whatever <laughs> I heard the all clear horn, but I know enough to know that danger is not too far. That's why I sped up the final stage of the training of the recruits. But they have no field experience. How many more men did we lose? Three more guards have fallen now. Yeah, three of my friends. I'm very sorry for your loss. None of our losses are justified. Melek, go get the recruits and tell them to prepare. Charwoki is captured. Danger has been Asked. Thank God. Young lady, you said you saw something before we entered the canteen. Yeah, Karen, what did, what did she mean by that? I had like a, a premonition or a vision. But it was so vivid. And it's not like I just saw it, because I felt it, too. Wait, so what was this vision thing? Like I said, when I was in the tunnel, I suddenly had this vision. And I, I can't explain it. It was like I was watching a stage play from outside through the door of the theater. I just wish we could have saved them. Senator, I'm gonna need to contact the families of the dead. They're gonna be heartbroken. And they're gonna need closure. I'm so sorry about it. I can't do anything about those who have died. So I can no longer keep you against your will. Gather your thing, and I will get you out of here. Wait, we don't, we don't know where Cameron is, and we can't leave without him. If he would like, it will be easy to find him. So get his stuff also, and I get you out of here quickly. OK, understood. All right, guys, you, you heard the man. Pack your stuff ASAP. We're getting out of here. Come on. I 
knew I should have been happy that we were leaving, but it just felt like there was so much unfinished business. I just couldn't feel joy knowing that half of our group was dead. As expected, this guard named Andre Ning showed up with his men. And I've never been so nervous in my entire life. It was like this big moment of truth. Let's go, let's go! Come on, Rick, move it! Coming. Are you ready? Yes. You have your stuff? Yeah. Rick, are you gonna make it? I call for Cameron to meet us at the gate. Good. I'm just, I'm just sad it's not all of us. Okay. All right, so, yeah. Let's go. All right. Follow me. It was the moment of truth. We were about to go home. I was really worried about Rick, though. Everyone was. And then... No one is going anywhere. Let's see you sound, Joseph. I'm going to ask you, Sir Talis Sanasar. I'm going to ask you, Sir Talis Sanasar. Do you know this? Let's see you, Sir Talis Sanasar. What's going on, Sir Talis Sanasar? What's going on, Sir Talis Sanasar? Next time on Evil Touch. Why would you do this? You are a coach. I'm in a mid-sahar. What is that? The Book of Knowledge. It contains records accumulated by generations of protectors. She is the one. The one? Yes. Person prophesized by the knowing ones. Rick said it wants her. He's changing right in front of us. Yeah. Yeah, this is it. What is it? Perhaps we should ask her.